Hello everyone, welcome back to another Thayakak and Love Story. This is going to be a bit of a forced marriage and love story where Jungkook is Thayang's stepbrother. Jungkook is Thayang's stepbrother, his college professor and his first husband. So let's see. Flashback Thayang, you shouldn't do like that. Watch. This is how you should do it. He is really just a little kid who can't do anything on his own. Jungkook said while Thayang was parting with sharp eyes looking at him. Jungkook and Thayang were non-stop arguing about how to plant a flower in a correct way. Today is the day his family was busy. Thayang and Jungkook was asked to plant flower into the pot. Mama and Daddy was busy discussing about the design they were creating. Grandma was resting on a bench under a tree after doing swing, swing in the dry leaves on the ground. Grandma was looking while smiling at the two stepbrothers, Jungkook and Thayang, who was non-stop arguing about planting. Jungkook, Thayang, Thayang and Jungkook run, turn around to look at Grandma while she is waving her hand, calling both Thayang to come. Both of them take off the dirty gloves and walk towards the bench where grandma is sitting on the bench yes grandma thang said smiling while sitting on her left while jungkook sat on the right grandma spread her arms and put both of them in her arms my lip fill up sweetest loveliest grandchildren your grandma has one wish that I want both of you to grant it. Grandma is smiling while looking at both of them. What it is, Grandma? Jungkook asked, wondering about her wish. I want you guys, both of you, to be married. Grandma said, Thang was shocked and leaned backward with confusing face while Jungkook brushed out laughing. Grandma looking weird at Jungkook's reaction, who is just laughing, then it's turn to react. But grandma, I'm still in high school. Thang said in a serious face while putting his hand on her shoulder. Yes, I know, but once Thang entered his college and Jungkook will get his job, what's the problem? Jungkook slowly stopped laughing and tried to focus on the conversation. Thang remained quiet. You guys, I am serious, and if you can't grant my wish before the day I die, how do you think I would feel? Grandma suddenly becomes serious and was about to stand up from the bench. Grandma, Grandma. Thayang quickly grab her grandma's hand and pull her to sit back on the bench. Grandma, I will do it. Thayang said, what? Jungkook weirdly looked at her. Thayang, grandma's eyes widen and quickly hold Thayang's hand. Really? How about you, Jungkook? Grandma turned around, looked facing Jungkook, who didn't know how to what to do. Thayang gave him sigh. To just approve it, what I say, yes. Jungkook asked Thayang and Grandma take it as Jungkook's agreed for the marriage. Oh my god, I'm so so happy and can I wait for this marriage? Grandma hugged both of them while kissing their hands. Thayang and Jungkook facing each other and thinking that you both ruined accepting it, but to care for grandma's feeling they didn't need to do it first night after thang and jungkook's married opa i made you some milk thang said while bringing the glass of milk into the bedroom where jungkook is lying on the bed 
oh my god first of all don't you know how to disgusted i am hearing you calling me oppa jungle quickly sit up on the bed with disgusting face then we stop walking and look at, at him but you are old jungle can stop them from saying anything Secondly, why would you came into my room while bringing a glass of milk? Do you think I'm a baby or what? That milk is for you, kid. Thing is staring with frown his eyebrows and hate it when JK started to call Thing a kid. Why are you so rude? Thing asked with his angry face. Oh no. Look, this kid is getting mad. So scary, Jungkook said, feeling doesn't care at all. Thang was about to leave, but Jungkook started speaking again. And remember, I would never take you as my official wife. This marriage is just for grandma's wish. Just wait until the day I finally get you divorced, Thang, and I can't wait for that day to come. Also, me and you both are free to. live our life as we want and that means we can have boyfriend and girlfriend okay thing was shocked by his words and leave the room without turning around in the living room thing was lying on the couch while hugging the cushion he really doesn't care about jungkook's word and try to just go with the flow but deep down inside his heart thing felt so hot Thang thought Jungkook would love him after marriage, but it turned out worse than before. Jungkook used to fight and argue with him, but now he is literally hating Thang. That night, Thang ended up crying on couch and slowly fell fell asleep. Seven thirty a.m. Oh, so I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Thang quickly get up. Getting up from couch and running upstairs while Thang was running, Jungkook came from out from his room and both of them bumped onto each other. Yeah, can't you walk properly? Thang panicked. But didn't care about him and entered. His room to take shower and getting ready to go to his college. And Rang Jungkook rolled his eyes and walked down the stairs while tidying up his necktie. Jungkook fed Thang. Jungkook fed Thani and Bam before leaving the house to go to his work at college. Thang walked almost run into the hallway and luckily. He found one of his friend, Yonggi. Yonggi, hang, wait for me. Thang ran towards Yonggi and grab, quickly grab his arm. Both walked towards their class. In the big class, Thang was busy feeding, finding his other friends, and finally found them who was waiting. Waving towards Thang and Yonggi, you never be this late, Thang. Jimin, who was sitting beside Thang, said, "I can't well sleep well last night." Thang replied, "I'm J. Look at your makeup; it's a bit messy. Can come on, I'll fix it for you, Thang." Jungkook, Jimin pulled his head closer to himself while he was searching for. His makeup in his bag. Thanks, Thang smiled. While Jimin is putting lipstick on Thang's lips, his professor enters the class with a guy behind him. Thang moves his eyeballs to see who is that guy and quickly turns his head with wooden eyes. What? Thang blurted out. The lipstick was on the right cheek. Thang, what did you? Why did you move? Ah, now it's messed up. Jimin asked Thang. He is feeling so disappointed with Thang's accent. No wonder he looks cute. Chim chim. He 
Hey Jungkook, why did he came here? Thang asked to himself while his professor is talking. Thang made eye contact with Jungkook. He keep his straight face. Poof. Is he a joker or what? Jungkook thought to himself while continuing staring at Thang and the lipstick on his cheeks. Jimin found the wet tissues on his bag and quickly wiped the the lipstick on Thang's cheek. I must be dreaming right now. Thang said to himself and Jimin heard it. Where are you looking at? Jimin looked at the front and saw Jungkook was started and started fanboying about Jungkook. He's so handsome. Oh my god, is he gonna be our lecturer? He's so handsome. I have a crush on him. Jimin is screaming slowly while Thang remained froze on his seat while his friend was busy busy friend buying over his stepbrother or his rude husband. Only if you know his attitude, you wouldn't think like that. Thang whispered to himself, thinking what Jimin talk about Jungkook is nonsense. Thang was walking through the hallway alone. Then he saw Jungkook was walking towards Thang, but Thang didn't stop walking and decided to just walk away from him. Then Jungkook stopped Thang. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, Thang. He said mockingly, Why do you have to come here? Out of all the college out there, Thang said unangly, If I knew this is your college, I wouldn't even budge to came here jungkook replied the both staring at each other with a knowing face and then leave at cafe thing was sipping on his iced tea while his other friends was eating their food thing didn't have appetite since he just met Jungkook earlier than Jin Holt Hang's finger while looking at something. No way he is married. He asked jokingly. Thang's eyes widen as his heart beating fast because Thang just realized that he forgot to take off his marriage ring. No, this is a gift from my mom. Isn't it pretty, right? Kamdi Thang answered while smiling nervously. They was busy admiring his ring. Thang didn't want anybody to know that he is married. Expect his own family. Anyway, do you want to join us for a blind date? Youngi asks Thang. Blind date? Thang was concerned because he is already married now. Don't tell me you have a boyfriend already. Jimin said in disappointment, thinking Thang didn't. Tell him about having a boyfriend. No, Jimin, I don't have a boyfriend yet. Thang answered, Then let's go together, Jimin said while Thang was faking a smile and nod awkwardly. At home, Thang came out of the cab and saw Jungkook's car was already parked in the front of the house. As soon as Thang opened the door, he saw the two dogs were chilling on the couch. Thang likes dog and cannot resist from playing with them. Jungkook saw his action and stopped Thang from moving closer to his dogs. Don't touch my dogs. Thang stopped and looked at on his right, then saw Jungkook was standing not far from him while drying his wet hair with a towel. Thang pouted because he didn't get to play with them. Tenny, ma'am, came here. Jungkook called them and entered his room while they are following him. He came back in living room not long after. Thang was sitting on the couch feeling bored. One more thing, don't use my bathroom ever again. Can't you see there is another bathroom thing? Jungkook said, 
वेल पॉइंटिंग टू द बाथरूम हेयर डाउन स्टर्स एंड आई हैव टेकन आउट योर स्टफ सो गो एंड फाइंड अनदर रूम टू वेयर योर क्लोथ्स और वॉट एवर बट नट इन माई रूम ही लिव्स थैंक गोइंग अप स्टेयर्स थैंक्स आई वेल लैंग ऑन द काउच नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग थैंक इन टू द बाथरूम टू टेक अ शावर देन ही हर्ड अ कन्वर्सेशन बेबी एम ए सी सो मच थैंक वॉक क्लोजर टूअर्स द बाथरूम डोर एंड स्टिक हिज हेड ऑन इट टू हेयर इट मोर क्लियरली वेल इन द किचन जंक वॉज ड्रिंकिंग सम वाटर एट द किचन काउंटर देन अब वूमेन हग हेम फ्रॉम द बैक मेकिंग हेम ऑलमोस्ट स्पेल हिज ग्लास हे पुट डाउन द ग्लास ऑन द वाटर ऑफ वाटर एंड टू द काउंट काउंटर एंड टर्न अराउंड इट वॉज हिज गर्लफ्रेंड हनी Baby, I miss you so much. She tried to kiss Jungkook, but he rejected her slowly. Hey, hey, calm down. What if someone says Jungkook put his hand on th- Honey's shoulder? Is that even matter? Honey pouted. Okay, I'm sorry, baby. Don't you feel hungry? Let's have dinner together. Jungkook walked out from the ha- his house, bringing Honey to his. car thing was in the bathroom and find out that he has a girlfriend at cafe thing was carrying tray of drinks while walking towards the table where his friends was unexpectedly thing was sad jungkook and honey was in the cafe too they were sitting right beside his table then sat on the chair while trying not to look at jungkook who is facing to them jimin your crush i already had a girlfriend and she is hot jin said to jin jimin and she is so hot i surrender jimin accept his faith anyway he was not too serious about jungkook Thang continuously looking at Jungkook. Jungkook knows that Thang's presence and keep over flirting with his girlfriend to make Thang feel irritated. Ha! Huh, do I even care? Thang thought to himself while rolling his eyes. In library, Thang was busy finding a book to read. Then Jungkook came out of nowhere to stop. in front of them my girlfriend is hot right he said he said bragging about his girlfriend then crossed his arms while looking at him so then ask so then you better go and find a boyfriend before you are divorced by me or you will be single till the end of this whole year oh, so sad Jungkook said while with a teasing sigh, a smile. Ah, just mind your own business, Jungkook. Thang rolled his eyes, then leave him. Thang was thinking about not going home for a week, so Thang decided to stay in his dorm with his friends. He bring few clothes from his home and buy new clothes from a shop. in the drawing since we have thing here let's talk about our blind date guys jin suggested and four of them started talking about the blind date thing so a little interest because he didn't want to make a more mess of his life since he had already a husband do you what do you think thing would be will look alike i mean ask while imagining about her future husband boyfriend i want someone who is shorter than me also with the best hair please don't take him away from me young said while begging then can just love hearing his friends idol types 
मीन वाइल एट होम जंग सिटिंग ऑन द कॉच वाइल स्टेरिंग एट हिट क्लॉक हीज कमिंग होम लेट जंग कॉस टू हिम सेल्फ और ही इज स्टेंग इन ड्रामा वट एवर वाइट डू आई इवन केयर अबाउट हिम जंग थाट टू हिम सेल्फ अनाइंगली इन गेटिंग रेडी टू स्लीप The night of Thang's blind date, his friends were doing makeup and styling their hair. Thang had done everything and just waiting for them patiently. Cause Thang isn't this too casual, Jimin said, feeling unsatisfied with the casual cloth. No, this looks just fine for me. Thang answered back while looking down his sweet shirt. No, no, just wear my clothes. And Jimin started. to find his clothes in the wardrobe then thang changed onto jimin's clothes thang didn't intend to find a boyfriend but his friends would be suspicious on thang if thang didn't do as they say so thang just decided to join the blind date in the cafe not so far from college the and his friends entered the cafe while thang was walking at the back a guy waved his friend hand towards them and all of them walked towards the table thang realized there was only three guys sitting there so thang felt more relieved and sat on the chair facing nobody thank god thang thought to himself all of his friends were sitting facing a guy his friends was being shy and busy he started conversation with the guy in front of them while thang just sitting there playing with his fingers while thang was just looking how happy his friends was with the guy the guy in black hair wearing white shirt sat in front of thang sorry for being late thang turned his head to the friend feeling a little surprised yeah um, it's okay then smiled shyly while fixing his hair i didn't expect a handsome guy would come on to the state thank said to himself what's your name the guy asked looking into thanks eyes then became so shy tried to answer his question calmly i'm kim thang Nice to meet you. I'm Jung Ho Seok. He smiled, said, smiling sweetly. Thanks, heart beating very fast because it is all new for him. Thanks, feel so sad because in the house you guy wouldn't stop staring on his face, no matter where Thanks look at. He looks so pretty. He blurted, blurted out, making Thanks heart. Almost explode. Uh, really? Mm, thank you. Then we played while clenching softly. Don't have hopes. Then you are married. Wake up, wake up. Then reminded himself he didn't want to make his life more difficult because he can't tell Hoseok that he is married. End of the blind date in the dorm. All of their friends were sleeping soundly. Well, Thang is the only one who is awake. Thang was smiling, along with sitting on the bed, flashback in his blinded. Since we are here, the same college. I hope we'll meet more of after this. Hope he said. So Thang replied, "Can you give me your phone number?" He asked while showing his phone to Thang. Of course, Thang took his phone and started dialing his number. Here, Thang gave the phone back to him. Thanks, I'll text you later. He said while smiling towards Thang. End of flashback. Hobi, are you not sleep? Thang, no, not yet. Hobi, is that because I'm texting you? Thang, no, it's not. It's okay. I'm really not feel sleepy yet. Hobi, no, no, it's getting late. You should sleep now. I'll end here for tonight. See you tomorrow. Thank. All right then. 
ओके गुड नाइट बेटी स्लीप टाइट नेक्स्ट डे बिफोर मूविंग फॉर आई फॉरगेट टू मेंशन जंकू के जो प्रोफेसर एंड थे हंग्स कॉलेज ना आई होप यू विल फॉरगेट मी फॉर दैट टुडेज क्लास हैज बीन फिनिश एंड थे हंग डिसाइडेड टू स्टे इन लाइब्रेरी विथ यंगी फॉर अवर बिफोर गोइंग बैक टू ड्रॉम फोर मिनट्स लेटर थे हंग वॉज स्टूडिंग विथ यंगी वॉज प्लेइंग विथ हिज फोन You are not studying anymore. They are asking. As he stopped his studying fifteen minutes ago, he didn't stop filming. They are you are here. Who he said? Smile while well, smiling brightly. They are look up and see who he was standing there. Oh, who he? They are said. Youngy noticed who he was. Quickly take a chance to give them and who he. Some privacy. Then I think I should go now. I just remember that I need to do laundry. See you in the dorm later. Young B whispered quickly, leaving after packing up his things. Then was speechless to look at his living fingers. So suddenly, Young B sat on the chair beside him while looking at his book. Wow, I still not got many work to do. He asked while looking at Thang's book on the table. Yeah, I just wanted to prepare a few things so I can memorize notes easily for upcoming exam. Thang said while smiling. Don't push yourself too hard, Thang. You should take a rest. You be said concerned about Thang. Thang just nodded and smiled at him. Minutes later, Thang felt so sleepy and decided to sleep for a while. Thang put his head on his crossed arm on the table. Hobi was reading a book and noticed that Thang was sleeping. Then he crossed his head arms on the table and put his head on them while staring at Thang. He kept staring at Thang while trying to put away a strand of hair that was. Covering Thang's eyes softly, not to startle Thang and wake up, Jungkook entered the library. He was searching for Thang. He finally found Thang, but he stopped as soon as he realized there is a guy beside Thang. He saw who is staring at Thang, who is sleeping soundly beside him. What is he? Is that his boyfriend? Jungkook spoke to himself and decided to leave without disturb- disturbing Thang and Hobi. Time escaped in Rome. Thang just came out from the bathroom while drying his face with a small towel. Then he get a text message in his phone. Thang smiled, happy, and quickly grabbed it to see if it is from Hobi. Thang started liking Hobi's company, but he didn't want. Then friends, his face immediately turned pale once he said, "Once he saw that it is from Jungkook, come back home right now." Thang read the message and ignored it by turning off the phone and go to sleep. Next day, Thang had done the last class lesson in Jungkook's class. Thang. Pack up his things, guys. I'm wanna go to the restroom first. I will meet you later. Aunt Thang said while leaning, leaving his friends who was nodding at Thang. Thang was walking towards the restroom and almost entered in, but his hands were pulled by Jungkook. He bring Thang with a stare. Walk. Let me go. Let go of me, Jungkook. Thang said while trying to pull. His hand and Jungkook finally let go of it. Why you didn't read my message? Jungkook asked while frowning his eyebrows because he didn't want to. So what? Thang replied with crossing his arms. Jungkook sighed. Mom, Dad, and Grandma are coming tonight. Jungkook told Thang what. Thang was shocked by what he said. 
you know what i mean we are gonna start acting again jungkook said while crossing his arm thang was playing thinking for a while and his face turned into a smirk um i got this don't worry thang said while smirking at jungkook he looked at thang suspiciously what are you trying to do jungkook wondered what while thang just keep on smiling At home, Thang was bringing his things into the house. Then he stopped. Jungkook he turned around back and looked at Thang. Where are I gonna sleep? Thang asked while looking at him. Don't worry, I have prepared it. Come follow me. Jungkook bring Thang to his room. Thang entered his room and only saw Jungkook's bed. Don't say that we'll sleep. Jungkook cut Thang off. Um, no, no, that's. It's right here. He pulled the curtains not far from the bed. Then walked towards him and saw a mattress on the floor with a side table and a lamp. Wow, you are so kind. Then said sarcastically while looking at the space with a motionless face. Just say that you like it. Jungkook smiled, thinking Tham really liked it. While Tham was faking a smile towards him. 9:40 p.m. Ding dong, they are here. Jungkook said while walking fastly down the stairs with Tham. They walked down the stairs. The door towards the door. Jungkook looked at Tham for a second and quickly grabbed his wrist. Tham was shocked and speechless. Jungkook opened the door. OMG, my beloved kids, I miss you both so much. Mom said while holding Tham's Jungkook's face and Tham's face. Slowly, Tham greeted them after being shocked by Jungkook's action just now. Mom, Dad, Grandma, how are you? Tham asked while smiling nervously. It's not good to have a conversation here, right? Come in, mom, dad, grandma. You gonna catch cold if you stay. You all stay outside. Jungkook speak as soon as they entered. He let go of Thang's waist immediately. Uh, what are you doing? Thang crossed his arms while looking at Jungkook angrily. I have to. I'm sorry. Okay, he said and. As if he, it's not a big deal to grab Thang's waist. Jungkook, Thang, what are you doing there? Grandma yelled from the living room. Yeah, we are coming. Thang yelled and quickly walked towards the living room. Time escape in the living room. Thang was making drinks for them in the kitchen while Jungkook and other was in the living room. Thang was carrying out the trays. Of drinks towards the living room when then suddenly Jungkook ran towards them. Oh my poor baby, let me bring it for you. Jungkook said and take the tray of drinks from Thang. The others was smiling, looking at both of them being so lovely. Lovely, you are. You sure you are trying so hard? Thang whispered to himself and sighed. Thang sat on the couch and. Jungkook quickly sat beside Thang closely. I'm so glad you both already making up. Mom said while admiring the fake relationship, Thang was feeling uncomfortable sitting there beside Jungkook. Anyway, when you both going for your honeymoon, Mom asked excitedly. Thang has written her honeymoon. Thang blurted out, "We are trying to find a suitable time since I got a lot of work, and Thang is currently preparing for his exam." "Right, baby?" Jungkook asked, faking answer while looking at Thang. But Jungkook was actually surprised by his mom's question too. "Yeah," Thang answered nervously. You know, we just can't wait to play with kids, especially with 
our very own grandchildren children's dad speak while smiling at both of them Tim is having holidays after his exams right you should take a break and go enjoy your honeymoon mom said hoping that both of them will go for the honeymoon thing and jungkook was just smiling awkwardly in the morning thing went to college together with jungkook by the, using his car this is first time to go to college with jungkook since mom is watching both of them at the house earlier i don't like you touch me like that thing is big after a while a few minutes in the car hey i don't like doing that either but they are watching so i have no other choice chunko answered and stop calling me baby thang crossed his arms while staring at him chunko sighed all right anything else you want princess but if they found out about us i'll kill you thang chunko said while looking at thang in a His serious face chill they wouldn't just act normal thing speak and finally they have arrived at the college minutes later time escape at home we are home thing speak while entering the house with jungkook mom and grandma was preparing for the dinner in the kitchen thing walked to the kitchen and a smell of delicious food coming from the kitchen Wow, it looks so delicious. Thang said while looking at the food. Thang, why I, why don't you make a dish for Jungkook? Can I ask me? Thang asked his expert expert at cooking cooking, but since Jungkook never asked for Thang to cook for him, Thang was preparing for a dish for Jungkook. Since Grandma asked Thang to make it, Grandma is slicing the kimchi beside. Thang, well, Thang was cooking. Then Jungkook entered the kitchen and hold his sudden shoulder from the back while smiling. The dish Thang was making, mm, my wife dish, smells so delicious. Jungkook felt kind of annoying with it again. Thang thought to himself and turn around, looking facing Jungkook with angry little. Tiger face. Jungkook was startled by it. Of course, I made it especially for you, darling. Thang speak just for you. Thang whispered while poking Jungkook's chest. Jungkook was shocked and almost fell down. Habi, are you okay? Thang asked while grabbing Jungkook's arm. Up, uh, I'm okay. Jungkook said, and with emotionless face, I'm quickly leave the kitchen. Huh, now you got it back. Thang, smug while continuing cooking. Time escape. Thang walk up the stairs to enter his room to get sleep, ready for sleep. The night lights was on, on, and Thang saw Jungkook was already sleeping with a book on his chest. Thang. Turn the lights off and yeah, Jungkook shout and startled Thang. Who tell you to turn off the lights? Said he asked angrily, but still control his voice so his parents wouldn't hear. Thang turned on the lights. You were you were closing your eyes earlier and maybe sleeping. Thang gets annoyed and turn off the lights on purpose and quickly run towards his bed. Turn it on back. Jungkook sat while sitting on the bed. I don't want to. Thang sat while sitting on the bed and quickly get to sleep. Ah, the sun nine kid. Thang, you better watch your out your moves. Jungkook sighed while rolling his eyes and get up to turn on the light by himself. Hey everyone, how was it? I'll see you at. um wednesday 6:45 pm so till then wait for the next episode and enjoy this episode
and you can tell me in the comments section whatever you feel about the episode see you again bye